Here we have a Nintendo Switch that came in for no power. The console was mailed over because it does not power on and it does not take a charge. We already tried to plug the charging cable and our charging station, the one that we are using here, which goes up to 12 volts, is showing 12 volts at 0.6 amps, which is equivalent to 15 volts at 0.46 amps or 0.4748 amps, which is not good. A good charge rate for the Switch console is it should start with 12 volts. You cannot see my charging station, but just trust me. It should start at 12 volts, and then after a few seconds, it should drop down to 9 volts, but that's not happening. It's stuck at 12 volts, 0 0.6 amps. That could be an indication of a short based on my experience working on this game console, or it could be a CPU-related issue. But one way to find out, we have to go over the board and see what's going on. We have done countless number of Nintendo Switch repairs on this channel, but that's what we have on our bench right now. So let's see if we are able to figure out this problem. We're going to start with the battery connector. We'll do visual inspection and measure at the same time. Get my multimeter probes, diode mode, and let's see. We have our battery connector. We have our Joy-Con connector, BQ charging chip. No short, no short, no short. We do not have a short anywhere here. And then moving along. Measure our fuse, 0 0.5 voltage drop in diode mode, that's perfect. If we look at the USB-C pins, we can tell that the connector is factory. It has not been replaced. And if we look inside the connector, make sure all the pins are good. No two pins are crossing or no pin damage and the connector looks absolutely perfect. The whole board looks perfect. It has not been tempered with before, no signs of flux. No signs of a prior repair attempt, no corrosion, no liquid damage, nothing. Here we have our M92 chip. We're going to measure in a few areas. No short, no short, no short, no short, and oh, we have a short. We have a short right here. Okay, so based on my experience working on Nintendo Switches, the problem is likely on back of the board, something called the P13 chip, most likely. Let's measure the cap that we see here. You see? We have a short right here. We got it. Let's remove that chip, and then we're going to measure for a short again. If the chip is, in fact, what's causing the short, then we can replace it. Give it to Big Boss to reassemble and test, and move on to fixing something else. That's how we do it. Fume extractor on, and we're going to prep the pads with loaded solder. Let's get rid of the glare. If you have not seen our anti-glare video, search for Northridge Fix anti-glare. We sell that light. It's a light that comes in at an angle. You can watch the video and you can purchase the light at northridgefix.com. You can purchase actually all your tools. We stock everything and almost always orders ship out same day. Everything is in stock. Soldering stations, hot air stations, thermal camera, grinding pan, flux. Just log in to northwitchfix.com, click on shop, and you can add whatever you want to the shopping cart, check out, and you can expect a shipment either same day or the day after. Oh, we still have a short. Okay, so the next step would be to remove the M92 chip and see if that will release the short, because a short on that cap that we measured could either be the P13 or the M92. It's weird that the P13 did not solve the short. So let's go ahead and do the M92.
What the? What the is going on? We still have a short. All right, so the board want to play games. The board want to play games. We can play games. So we are left with one thing to do to figure out where the short is coming from. We're going to inject voltage at the cap. And we're going to monitor the board under a thermal camera and see what gets hot. Let's do it. All right, so let's inject voltage at the shorted cap. And what is getting hot on the board? Right now, the meter is drawing 3.24 amps. Look at this. We see something hot right over here, right over here. What is going hot? We have three capacitors on this area of the board. And from all the switches that I fixed that we have on YouTube or the ones that we do not have on YouTube, I never had a short circuit on this area of the board before. First time. There is a first time for everything. We're going to inject voltage again, and maybe this time we can add some alcohol in this area and see what gets hot. Wait a minute. Okay. Let's do this the proper way because my probe slipped. Okay, so let's add alcohol again. Look at this. It's the second cap. Add alcohol one more time. See? We have a short circuit on the second cap. We got it. Right here, this guy. And let's see, do we still have a short? That's the question. Meter in diet mode. And the short is gone. So our P13 chip was most likely good. Our M92 chip was most likely good. And the problem was the shorted capacitor down here. The one that I never had to change in my life. No problem. We're going to have to resolder the P13 M92 and we're going to replace this cap and we should be good. We need to grab a Nintendo Switch donor board and we should have this cap 100% because I never had to remove one before. Right here. Right and perfect. We soldered the P13 chip and we're going to do the same for the M92 chip. And we'll test and see. We should not have any more issues and the console should charge. We should be able to tell that the board is working if the charging station switched from 12 volts to 9 volts. Big bus is already gone and we're not going to be able to reassemble and test it in the console. But I will know the board is working when we see the 9 volt charge on the charger let's zoom in make sure all the pins are good we can use the help of the ring light we always use the ring light and the anti-glare light in combination to get the image that we want and I always tell 
viewers or customers. When you are buying a microscope from us, make sure you get the ring light and the anti-glare light. Some customers, they buy only the microscope and have the image as light. You need good light in order to get the results that you want. Anti-glare light and the ring light are money well spent. All right, so the chip is soldered on very nice. Let's go ahead and do the M92. And we're going to be using a new M92 chip. Just in case. And we also used a new P13 chip. I do not want to have to go back and forth. Maybe the P13 chip was affected because of the short. Maybe our M92 was affected because of the short. So let's just replace them. We already did with the P13. And this is a new M92 chip. Now let's plug in a battery and hopefully the board is a fix. I do not see a reason why the board would not be a fix. We got rid of the short and the problem with the board was the short. Yes, yes. I do not know if you can see it, but okay, right here we have 9 volts, 9.1 volts. If I unplug, unplug the battery, plug the battery back, and I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it, but let me plug the charging cable. It should start at 12 volts and then go down to 9 volts. at 0 0.6 now it's going to switch off and go down to 9 volts 9.1 at 1.1 amps the board is fixed awesome amazing amazing the board is fixed I'm going to put this on Big Boss's bench right now it's 6.30 Big Boss left at 5 o'clock today and he's not going to be able to reassemble until tomorrow. But the numbers are reading a fix. That's it. We're going to end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll do something else in the next video.